Hi, my name is Pablo and I am fascinated by plants and passionate about computer vision. My master thesis is the result of it. But I also address a problem, which is the problem of undernourishment. Right now, in the world, there are more than 820 million people undernourished. That corresponds to one in every nine people. And that trend is sadly increasing since 2015 again. Apart from social issues, the challenge for plant science and agriculture is how to produce more food on limited land and at the same time preserve biodiversity and ecosystems. So we need to find better ways for studying plants. And one of those ways is with 3D data. So you guessed it, my work goes on how to acquire 3D data of plant using a consumer camera. It could be a digital camera or it could be even a smartphone. What I did was I took a plant and a video of a plant from different viewpoints and perspective and doing close-ups and I input that video into an algorithm. I use Colmap, which uses structure from motion. What you see in the screen right now is the algorithm finding features and matching features between video frames and then estimating camera poses and finally building a sparse reconstruction of the plant that is later going to be used for a more high quality reconstruction. Now, having the 3D reconstruction alone is not enough for us scientists. We want to know how good that reconstruction is. So for that, we need to compare it with some reference data, the so-called ground truth data. I acquired my ground truth data using a state-of-the-art structuralized scanner. So in summary, what we have is on the one side, the 3D reconstruction from the video and on the other side, the ground truth, our reference data from the scanner. And we compared the two uh, in terms of uh, measurement for precision and completeness. I did that for several plants and for two cameras. Now you may wonder how does a 3D reconstruction of a plant look like? Because there is something you cannot see in the book. And I would like to share with you some of, uh, of our reconstruction. This plant, uh, this point cloud has around 4 million points and as you can see the plant was successfully reconstructed and even the wrinkles and the hidden branches are there. So I would also like to point out that this approach is not confined to plant science. It could be also extrapolated for all the fields like anatomy, uh, face reconstruction, teeth reconstruction, anthropology, scanning bones, archaeology, scanning sites and I've even seen papers on contemporary dancers can embody poses. So as you can see, our uh, results are promising and point to very exciting challenges in the future, especially on the field of plant science. Thank you very much.